welcome back to Brainstormer of the Week. Uh, in this podcast, we're trying to answer the question that we asked you in the week 1 of Feb 2013. Uh, this question is going to be answered in two podcasts because it was quite a lengthy um, answer. Uh, and this is the part 1 of that podcast. So the question that we asked you was while performing an ankle block, which of the following nerves is blocked using an artery as a landmark? And the choices that were given to you were superficial peroneal nerve, the sural nerve, the saphenous nerve, and the deep peroneal nerve. Well, obviously the answer is deep peroneal nerve. Let's have a closer look at why this is so. Okay, so in order to be able to perform ankle block, you need to know what is the nerve supply of the uh, foot. And the nerves which are supplying the foot are coming from uh, the femoral nerve and from the sciatic nerve. Uh, the nerve which is supplying uh, the foot uh, which comes from femoral nerve is the saphenous nerve, which is a continuation of the posterior division of the femoral nerve. Whereas the sciatic nerve divides into common peroneal uh, nerve and tibial nerve at the level of uh, the back of the thigh or above the uh, popliteal fossa or in the popliteal fossa uh, and then uh, uh, continues downwards. The uh, branch from tibial nerve that supplies uh, the foot is uh, obviously the posterior tibial nerve. Whereas uh, the common peroneal uh, divides into the superficial uh, peroneal the deep peroneal uh, and also forms the sural nerve. So these are the nerves which supply uh, the ankle. Now, it's also important to know what are the properties of these nerves. So, the nerves which uh, begin with S are superficial, whereas the nerves which begin with deep or D are uh, deep. Uh, therefore, uh, it's obvious that superficial peroneal nerve, sural nerve, and saphenous nerves are going to uh, be superficial, and therefore, uh, the veins are superficial structures. So these nerves generally, uh, generally, accompany veins okay so in case of the superficial uh, peroneal it accompanies the short saphenous vein and in case of the saphenous nerve it accompanies the long saphenous vein sural nerve doesn't really accompany a vein uh, but we need to know the other two the uh, deep nerves which is the deep peroneal uh, and the posterior tibial or the deep tibial, uh, accompany arteries. So that's another distinction because they are arteries are uh, deep structures. The uh, deep peroneal uh, nerve accompanies uh, the anterior tibial artery and the posterior tibial nerve accompanies the artery of the same name which is the posterior tibial artery. It is also important to note that these superficial um, nerves are generally only sensory. Whereas the deep nerves are both sensory and motor. So they are mixed nerves. So that's another uh, way of looking at these nerves. Let's have a look at how these nerves uh, supply the foot and what are their distributions? In this picture, we are having a look at the right foot and the lateral view. Uh, so let's try and see what are the nerves supplying uh, the part of the foot. So anteriorly and a bit medially, the foot, uh, including the medial malleolus, is supplied by the saphenous. The heel of the foot is supplied by calcaneal nerve, which is uh, a branch of the posterior tibial. Small part of the lateral border of the foot is supplied by the lateral plantar. These nerves uh, come from the posterior tibial nerve again. 
the majority of the lateral part of the ankle and the foot is supplied by sural nerve which also supplies the lateral malleolus the skin over the dorsal surface of the ankle and the foot is mainly supplied by superficial uh, peroneal nerve Now let's have a look at uh, the nerve supply to the medial aspect of the ankle and the foot. And here we are looking at the left foot uh, and its medial aspect. Again, the posterior part of the heel has been supplied by the calcaneal nerve, which comes from posterior tibial. Uh, majority of the part of the uh, medial aspect and the medial malleolus is again supplied by the saphenous nerve again the forefoot up to the toe is supplied by superficial peroneal while the bottom aspect of the medial surface of the foot is supplied by uh, the medial plantar nerve. Now let's have a look at the nerve supply of the foot from the top. So this is the right foot uh, having a look at the dorsal aspect and here we can see uh, that a small part of the webbing between the first and the second toe, uh, this particular part, is supplied by the deep peroneal nerve. In fact, deep peroneal nerve is the only nerve in the ankle block that does not supply any sensation uh, to the ankle joint or the ankle uh, um, skin. So be a bit careful about uh, that question if you ever asked. The medial malleolus is uh, supplied by the saphenous nerve. The lateral malleolus is and slight part of the lateral aspect of the foot is supplied by the sural nerve. and majority of the front of the ankle and the dorsal surface of the foot is supplied by, again, superficial uh, peroneal nerve. Having a look at the bottom of the foot, again, it can be made out that small part of uh, the webbing space between the first and the second toe is uh, supplied by the deep peroneal nerve. And the slight part of the lateral aspect of the foot would be then supplied by the sural nerve. Most of that heel would be supplied by the calcaneal nerve whereas uh, the most of the plantar surface of the foot would then be supplied uh, by either the uh, medial plantar nerves or the lateral plantar nerves. And finally, we would like you uh, uh, to do a few things if you did like this or dislike this podcast. 
you can simply like or dislike the video if you're on watching this on the YouTube uh, channel uh, you're most welcome to leave uh, comments either on the YouTube channel or um, on the website uh, if you want to share it with your friends you can use Facebook Google or Twitter and you can do this uh, using either the um, YouTube channel or you can do this on the website as well and finally you can uh, become a subscriber to my channel uh, on the YouTube and um, get latest uh, videos and updates from there as well. Uh, so thanks a lot for watching this folks. This is again a video podcast series presentation from regionalfortrainees.com.